So today's vlog is a mixture of a catch up on the last couple of days here and this is our last day in Rarotonga and it's also a review of my thoughts on the Rarotongan Resort and Spa which is where we're staying. That's more like the weather we had booked in. Most of the exercise you get from inflatable stand-up pedal boards is actually from inflating them. How's it, miss? <laughs> Today is the nicest day we've had so far. This is kind of what we've come for I guess. It is day four and we've had a real mixture of weather, often sort of cloudy and rainy or windy in the morning and then it sort of finds up for really nice sunsets which is great. But today has been blue sky from waking up to so far we we're into about midday and it's still fantastic. I'm not big on sitting on the beach doing nothing, not sort of a sunbathing type of person. So I might try and look to do something this afternoon. Toby looking, apparently there's crab racing tonight, so there's Toby out there looking for a crab, a suitable crab to race. Anything Tobes? Yeah. Keep looking. We are at a local restaurant called Vaima, which is recommended to us and supposedly has the best ikimata on the island, which is um, sort of an island, I guess an island specialty, which is basically raw marinated tuna, which is marinated in lemon juice and coconut and a few other herbs and spices. So, Also got some salt and pepper squid, and we can't complain about the location because there is the water. Ikimata was excellent. It's probably time to hop on their scooter and head back and retrieve our kids from the kids club. Good morning. Not sure what day it is. Wednesday, I think it's pretty sure it's Wednesday. Had a bit of an average night's sleep last night. So feeling a little bit jaded. Weather's pretty good, just starting to cloud over. Just gonna try and look for Toby, who seems to have disappeared. They always seem to disappear up to Kids Club because there's video games. On the plans this morning, I think, is a spot of tennis with Hannah. So that was the tennis with the Julie and I and the two seven-year-olds. It was pretty awesome. Toby and I are going for a swim, we're leaving Julie and Hannah over there. Pigs. <laughs> Hannah kindly locked the safe for us this morning, but only Hannah knows the combination to the safe. No, not even Hannah knows the combination to the safe. Correction, not even Hannah knows the combination to the safe. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty funny, eh Hannah? <laughs> now we've got to wait 29 minutes to try again. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, it's only passports, eh? Hey? What do you need those for? Emily and I are just off to get some lunch supplies on the scooter. Right, a bit easier to find our scooter today because there's not so many. And I thought it was white, but it looks like it's kind of grey. That's our ride. What do you reckon, Em? That's a Cygnus. Cygnus X, Cygnus, Sinus, call it the Sinus, Sinus X. Here's Emily. Baguette, cheese, tomato, sandwiches for lunch.
so it's Wednesday, nothing too much to report. Kids have been at kids club, we've been swimming in the, the pool with the kids. Julie and I have both been out on the paddle board for a paddle. A rain shower went through but now it's cleared up again. And it is time for some lunch. Cheese and tomato on a fresh baguette. So I think tonight, Emily's got Coke with vanilla in it. I've got wine, Julie's got wine, but Toby wins the prize for most impressive looking drink. That is awesome, Tobes. What is that called? Lime time. Lime time, shirt unbutton, big lime time. <laughs> it's Ireland styles, right there. <laughs> As it's our last day, I thought I would do a review on my thoughts on the Rarotongan Resort and Spa, which is where we're staying. But before I start, I'd just like to add, you should never take any review, such as the one I'm doing right now on the internet or written as such, as being independent. There is no such thing as an independent review. There's always going to be a bias from the reviewer's perspective. So from our perspective, what was important to us was a family holiday, and our priorities were a pool, a good beach to swim in and a kids club and for comparison's sake we have been on fam similar family holidays to both Fiji and Samoa we stayed on Plantation Island in Fiji and Aggie Grays in Samoa both sort of similar style uh, resort I guess resorts I also want to show you a few things I mean you can look at the websites or the brochures and get all the facts and nitty-gritty uh, but I want to show you the things that probably aren't so easily gleaned or seen through uh, brochures or websites so without further ado here is my review of the Rarotongan Resort and Spa a few essential facts first it is 10 minutes from the airport it's a 109 room resort it is I guess three or four star it has an adult section called the sanctuary which adults only know children and the other side is the family friendly part can't say much about the adult part because we have children. So there's the beach. It is an all tide swimming beach. You can swim in both low and high tides. And it has got pretty good snorkeling straight off here. Freshwater pool with a little waterfall there. Not the biggest, but good. Cooler than the sea. And of course, the kids club. It's pretty well sorted out. Kids seem to really enjoy it. And next door there are video games, which are very popular. Hey Tobes. And here's the activities hut, which has free use of reef booties, snorkeling gear, flippers, wetsuits. You can also use the paddle boards. They're not the latest as of, as of doing this review, but they are doable and kayaks. We've been here for one week. We're here in the first week of June and the temperature has been pretty much in the mid 20s all week, which is really nice for doing stuff still. Not, it's not that hot. Um, it is predominantly Kiwis and Aussies here at the moment. This is our room. We are in a deluxe beachfront room. Big king size bed. Three beds for the wee cherubs. Actually has a quite a usable kitchen with a stove element, microwave, fridge freezer, pots and pans and utensils so you could self cater quite happily in here. Has a shower and actually has a spa bar. Restaurant wise there is Andy's Bar and Grill which we've eaten at mainly. There is a buffet through here but uh, it hasn't been operating the nights we were going to use it so I can't comment on that. But the food, I have to say, has actually been really good. Really nice. Prices, you will be paying, uh, if you're from New Zealand, you're going to be paying 28 to mid 30s, high 20s to mid 30s. For, so it's not the cheapest, but the quality of food, I have to say, is actually pretty good. And of course, 
not forgetting the staff. The staff have actually all been really friendly and really helpful. Um, if you're not from New Zealand, some of them have got like kind of almost like a one waitress we've been we've been or has been serving us has a little bit of a you might think it's an attitude but it's just actually their sense of humor but other than that they've been fantastic righto sum it all up it is probably the best all-round setup that we have stayed in in terms of accommodation is good it's got a fantastic beach and it's all handy good swimming and it's got a great kids club it's clean and tidy and the staff are great and overall we've really enjoyed our stay we've been here for eight days in terms of the not so great, probably the only thing I could probably really remark on is the weather, and that's nothing to do with the Rara Tongan Resort itself. Um, based on our experience, half a week was pretty average, half a week's been really good the second half. Friends of ours have had very similar experiences, and it's probably not as classically as fine or as hot as Fiji. So overall, enjoyed our stay, and yes, I would recommend it to others. Cheers. And the prize for the ugliest wetsuits go to...